Hello street carters, hope that you're well. Okay, final round of the British Stock Carting Championship and we're at Wilton Mill. I must admit, I really do like Wilton Mill. It's not a track that comes easily, but when you zone into it, it just locks into place and the times tumble. The key to fast times at Wilton Mill is being able to get as close as you can to the cones and to the tyre walls on the inside of corners. That means understanding how your car is going to react to you turning in, how much slip the tyres are going to have, how much grip you've got. So I set my best time last night at uh, 12.40 in the morning. I'm using the Firebird exhaust here. I did try with the uh, Power Finger, but I was a bit quicker with the Firebird. So first off, just move a little bit to the right to open up this first corner. We're aiming for a tight line across that curb there. This is going to open up the entry into the next corner. I'm aiming for those tyres on the right, but you're not going to hit them with the slip of the tyres. On this first lap, we've not built up enough speed yet, but on the second lap, we're going to be right out onto that curb, just like they do in real life racing at Wilton Mill. This curb on the right, I always used to say to avoid it. It used to really unsettle a car, even drag the cart off to the right hand side onto the grass. Now it seems to have flattened out a bit so you can monster it a bit more. Drift the cart slowly over to the left hand side of the circuit and at this point here, that's my braking point. Just before we get to this white marshals post on the left hand side, I start to stand on the brakes here. And as I turn in, I'm aiming square on for that red and white cone, literally aiming straight for it, because I know the slip of the tides are going to slide me around the outside of it without hitting it, but I want to get as close to it as I possibly can, ride the curb, and it will set me up perfectly for the next left-hander. So I'm aiming for the cone on the left-hand side, I'm riding the curb, I want to keep the cart as close to the left-hand side of the circuit as I can around this section, just so I've got a good line into the next right-hander coming up. For this right-hander, it's up to you how much curb you take. The more curb you take, the more unsettled it's going to make the cart as it leaves the corner. It's very important to get settled as soon as you can here. Get over to the left-hand side of the circuit and start braking early for this tight right-hander. It's amazing how quickly this corner comes up at you. I'm about to start braking now. You want to brake as late as you can and you're almost aiming for that cone on the left-hand side, but it's too late at that point. So again, I'm aiming for the cone on the right hand side here, literally aiming straight for it. Again, the slip of the tyres are going to take me around it. On the exit, let the cart run out wide. It's the Wilton Mill way. You've got corner two, you've got this corner, and you've got the final corner. I don't even know why they put tarmac on the track, because everyone, everyone goes out wide. Just as long as you get back on the track before the end of the kerb, you're golden. Now sweep across the track. Just don't go too far over to the grass there. If you hit the grass, it unsettles the cart and it'll screw you up getting into this next left-hander. Turn in early, ride the curb and get back on the throttle and open the steering up as soon as you possibly can. I make a mistake here. I go just slightly too wide on exit and I'm about to hit the grass on the right there. And it's amazing how much it unsettles the cart. It actually drags my cart towards the grass. I'm not moving up there. I don't want to be there, but it's dragging me out there. So avoid the grass as you come out of that previous corner. Be careful not to leave your braking too late for this corner. If you run too deep, it'll mess up your exit. At this point, I'm already about to start opening up my steering and putting the throttle back on. And this is going to launch me down the next straight. If you've got the last corner right, then you're going to run both right hand wheels over this curb and stay on the right hand side all the way down the next straight. There's a big stop coming up, but you've got a brilliant braking reference point here. The very second, the very pixel I hit this curb on the right hand side, I'm going to start braking and immediately turn in. And when I do turn in, I'm aiming for those three cones on the left hand side. I'm aiming right for them. I want to get as close to them as I possibly can, because that will give you the best line into the next right hand section and I'm going to aim to get as close to those tyre walls as you possibly can. Be careful, you do clip them occasionally, but keep as close to them as you possibly can and then immediately start to open up the steering. And that's a really important tip for Wilton Mill. When you come out of this corner, the temptation is to aim for the kerbs on the right hand side to try and take a tight line. But if you do that, it just bogs the engine down a little bit. So I open up the steering and I'm aiming to take a wide line here to maximise revs to get out the corner with as much speed as possible and set the cart up on the left hand side of the circuit, two wheels on the grass, two wheels on the tarmac, and then, yep, we're gonna aim for that cone on the right hand side, properly aim straight for it. Because again, the slide of the tires are gonna take you around the outside of it, across that curb, and then start to open up the steering. The more you open up the steering as you leave the corner, the less likelihood you're gonna get oversteer. 
And again, the line through here is the Wilton Way. Honestly, you could put 101 kittens and puppy on the tarmac over there. They're going to be perfectly fine. No one ever goes on the tarmac there other than on the first lap. So that's the first lap done. Sweep over to the right hand side of the circuit, ready for a fast entrance into the first corner. Again, aim for that cone on the left hand side. Let the slip of the tyres take you around the outside. This will set you up nicely for the second corner. A little bit of a lift and then turn in early. Aim for the tyre wall on the right hand side and then let the cart slide out for the Wilton line. Use as much of the runoff here as you possibly can to maximise your exit speed. It's at this point I've got a moment to have a look at my time. If my first lap was under 46 seconds, I know I'm on a hot one. I know I perhaps shouldn't do that because it just adds a little bit of pressure to the last remaining bit of the lap, but you kind of get a feel for what time you're doing. You normally know to within a tenth what your lap time is without looking at the clock. At least this time I didn't mess that corner up there and I get a great exit out of this corner down this straight. By this point in the lap, I know I'm on a good time. I've just got to keep it tidy through this left, right, right combination and then pin it for the line. So there we go. That's two laps of Wilton Mill. This time I'll let it run through without talking. So there you go, that's the end of the British Stock Cart Championship Guide, all four tracks sorted and done. I hope you found them useful, hope they've managed to find you a few tenths here and there. As always, if you have found them useful, like, comment, subscribe, it does help me out. I'm currently working on a few more setup guides, specifically for exhausts, for radiators, for engines, and just general driving technique tips and hints. I'll get those out over the next few weeks, if there's anything particular that you'd like me to take a look at, let me know and I'll take a look in a future video. Until then, stay safe and I'll see you soon.